Frank Borman and James Lovell, wearing the new lightweight pressure suits, were the flight crew for Gemini 7. Primary mission of the flight, to evaluate the capabilities of the flight crew and spacecraft during 14 days of weightless flight. The spacecraft would also serve as a target vehicle for Gemini 6. Confidence in the launch team was a well-established fact. These elements shaped the real challenge. Launch GT7, and within 14 days, launch the delayed GT6 astronauts from the same pad to effect a close-in orbital rendezvous. GT7, the first leg of the ambitious double Gemini mission, was launched on December 4th. T-minus one minute and counting. In the launch vehicle, first stage engines will ignite and build up some 430,000 pounds of thrust. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, velocity is 3,600 miles per hour. The crew reports their go for staging, which should occur in a very few seconds. Okay, this is standby for staging. Roger, staging. You see that staging? Right. Look at our moment, sir. Right. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. 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 We're standing by for point eight, which is the achievement of 80% of the desired velocity to put this 8,000 pound spacecraft into orbit. Our initial orbit was 87 by 177 nautical miles. This was very close to what we'd hoped for. As a matter of fact, I think that our launch vehicle was closer to nominal than any other one that's been fired. After insertion, we turned around and thrusted back toward our second stage. Borman reports he has the booster in sight. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. And then we station kept or remained with the booster, uh, actually we were about 60 feet away from it, for around 20 minutes. About 22 minutes into the flight, we thrust it away from our second stage and then got down to the business of a 14-day long duration flight. 